curse him that curses thee. Go ahead. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. And in thee shall all families of the earth uh, be blessed. In thee. Now let's go to Galatians. There's a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers blind to this. That seed of Abraham. Okay? That all nations was going to be blessed through. They say it's Israel. Israel can't do it unless they believe in the Messiah. Unless they believe in Hamashiach, Yahushai, Jesus Christ. That's the only way Israel can do it. If they're blessed, we're going to go to Galatians chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse, um, start at verse 14. Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. It says that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. Go ahead. Through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Okay, now how did Jesus Christ, the blessing of Abraham, come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ? When he sent the apostles out to teach the nations. First, Christ came to Israel to his own. Only a certain amount of remnant believed in him and actually followed after him. Other ones were rejected. They were reprobates. Then he turns to the Gentiles through the apostles and eventually through Paul. Paul went to his people first, then he went to the Gentiles. His office was to the Gentiles to fulfill prophecy of the Abraham Abrahamic prophecy of all nations shall be blessed. By what? What were they teaching the Gentiles? The gospel. The gospel of salvation. Read that again. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, you so-called white people, Japanese, Chinese, Africans, East Indians, Arabs, Samoans, Tongans, Ephesians, you Gentiles, you heathens, you nations, okay, the blessings of Abraham is going to come upon you and has been coming upon you already all through the scriptures. Go ahead. Through Jesus Christ. Through Christ. That's how they're going to be blessed. Through Christ. Not through Israel. It's going to happen through Christ. But there's an order to it like I mentioned before. Go ahead. That the blessing of... No, that we... That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, through faith. Through faith in the gospel, through faith in Hamashiach, Yahushai, Jesus Christ. Okay? We were going to receive the promise that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Brethren, I... Uh, go ahead. I speak after the manner of men. Though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannuleth, 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 right, or addeth thereto. Right. No man can disannul or take away from the covenant or the promises that was promised or the covenant or agreement or the contracts that was promised. Okay, go ahead. Now to Abraham... And his seed were the promises made. Now check this out. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Go ahead. He saith not, and to the seeds as of many. He says not, and to seeds as of many. But go ahead. But as of one. And that's telling you that seed of Abraham is as of one. Go ahead. And to thy seed. And to thy seed. Go ahead. Which is Christ. Christ is the seed of Abraham. Israel has to come through Christ to be blessed with the blessings of Abraham. The blessings of Abraham is not according to the law. It's not according to works. You understand? It's according to the promise. That's a promise. Go ahead. Um, now drop down. We go drop down and then we go end it. Uh, drop down to verse... Uh, 29. Galatians and 3 and verse 29. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. And if ye be Christ. And if ye be Christ, that the promise was going to come through a seed, which is Christ. And if ye be Christ, go ahead. Then 
are ye Abraham's seed. Then are ye Abraham's seed. Go ahead. And heirs. And heirs. Go heirs. Ahead. According to the promise. And heirs according to the promise. That fell upon Israel first, a remnant of Israel, and it fell upon a remnant of the Gentile nations. So that proves that what? Abraham was speaking and talking and teaching what? The gospel. Because the gospel is the eternal gospel of Jesus Christ. Hamasiach Yahushai. No gospel. No salvation. Shalom. Shalom.